Welcome and welcome back to Granny Metalhead TV and thanks for dropping by. It's time for the next edition of Granny Metalhead Reacts. So on this show, generally speaking, I'm a benevolent dictator. I play what I like and what I think is important. But since I want to add to that, I ask you guys to let me know below if there's something that you want me to play. So all you little Granny Maniacs, gather around for my latest batch of ear candy because tonight we're checking out Nightwish Ghost Love Score for Granny Metalhead Reacts. So, there's a lot of artists and bands that I've heard of, but I've only heard a little or maybe none of their music. And there's a reason for that. There's just so much music, so little time, so little money, and living out in the sticks doesn't help matters. Now, this song was a subscriber request by Martine. I hope that's how you say your name. I, I apologize if I get it wrong. And though, like I said, I've heard of Nightwish, but I've never heard this song. Uh, but Martine described them as a symphonic metal and i like both so this is probably right up my street so i feel pretty good about this and you guys haven't steered me wrong so far but all right feel it don't fight it buckle up tight and let's do this thing here is nightwish ghost love story for grainy metalhead reacts
Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Her voice was amazing. So powerful. So clear. I don't know if there was any auto-tune in that or not. It could have been because that was obviously pretty recently because of all the cell phones. Um, I loved that. I really, really loved that. It was just like she said, it's symphonic metal. And the, the singers, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. I, I have to learn her name. I got to learn all these people's names. You know, she she could have sung opera. I mean, this could have been an opera with metal in it. I That was amazing. Man, I'm blown away. If you aren't blown away by that, dig the wax out of your ears and grow a tongue so that you'll have some taste because that was fire. Hella fire. Love it or hate it, let me know that below. Um, I'm definitely going to check out the album version because I, mean, I can't imagine it being any better, but hey, you never know. But let me know below if you ever saw these guys live or where you were when you first heard this song. Maybe this was your first time too, or if it has any special meaning to you. I would love to hear about that. Speaking of meaning, I think... From what I was able to gather, I mean, mostly I was just trying to not sit there with my my mouth open, which is what I really wanted to do, was just sit there and just eyes bugging. But it sounded like it was uh, about a breakup, bad, bad relationship, breakup kind of a thing. But I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have. And if so, please like, subscribe, and join the Granny Maniac family, and then hit that bell for all so that you don't miss anything. And then share this show with others so that they can learn about all this excellent music and these artists. It costs you nothing, but it really, really helps me out a lot. And if there is something that you want me to play, let me know that below. I like some more Nightwish. That was amazing. Thank you, Martine, for that suggestion. And thank you all for dropping by. Love to my husband, Eric. And love to all you Granny Maniacs. Granny Metalhead is out.